And now to the first competitor, opening day three of competition at the Junior Grand Prix in Riga, Daniel Abalanov, 15 year old, born in Bergen. And eager to move up in the rankings with his free skate. Well, much better than the short program for Daniel Avalanov. You can see the exhaustion at the end of the performance. He had a bit of a nightmare short program. Two of the seven elements had no value at all. Much better showcasing the hard work that he has given in the offseason. Yeah, no question. And we talked about the difference between the short and the free psychologically. You know, the short is a little bit nerve-wracking, of course, because, you know, you can't win the competition with that, but you can lose it. And so you get really tight. You need a good short program to get to the position. And then you make too many mistakes. And then in the free, it's redemption. It's all about redemption, personal redemption, of course. And he did that. Some work really needs it. You can see that's a good triple loop mm. right up in the double axle. Nice and straight and tight in the air. Maybe a little bit tighter ankles would be better, but pretty good. But as he got tired, we started to see the posture a little bit break on the landings. And you can see right there, you know, sort of flinging their arms around a little bit. But this was nice and tight and straight in the air. Just details, pointed toes, a little bit softer knees. That was cool. Actually, that's a good point that what you've captured, Ted, is that as part of the choreo sequences we see Daniel stepping up into big double axle, double toe. 
this year the skaters can use knee slides as a recognized skating movement in their choreo step sequence so that different to the short program the step sequence required in a short program a choreo sequence required in a free skate and now this year yeah, and I want to. I want to talk about the, those knee slides. I could never do it because I had that Oscar Slots, oh, yes. you know, disease. And with those knees, I mean, it's it's horrible. Like, I mean, it's really hard. But and it's got a. I don't know how they do it. Like, that's got to hurt. I, I just wear knee pads every day now because. <laughs> oh well, yeah, but look at the how old you are. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, I should be. I shouldn't be doing. You should that wear like body armor or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> But that was a pretty good skate for this young man, you know, like just trying to get, say, hey, I got much more to show you than what I showed in the short program. That is, in some ways, for athletes, is the joy, is that you want to walk away from a competition. You may not have accomplished your goals. You may not have skated everything perfectly. But you want to have been able to react to something and improve it. And, and the free program gives you that opportunity. And, and great work from Yuri Salmanov, coach, who's managed to take the day off and turn around in that time the frustration and disappointment because it's so challenging if you've got that extra day between the short program and the free skate when you don't feel good and you do feel frustrated and despondent the coach has to work hard to try to ensure that that despondency is channeled into you know positive energy and you sense that from that opening triple and, loop double axle you sense and the that. tools that the coach has are the words and the words that you use and the tone that you use is a selection like off a menu and if yeah. you pick the wrong word or the wrong tone you're going down the rabbit hole. Yeah. So this is the work that the coach has to do. Let's take a look at the free program scores for Daniel. At 86.86 for a skater out in the competition. The coach looked pretty happy with that. Good finish to the competition with a 122.32 total competition score.